हेलो गाइस दिस इज साची स्केफ वेलकम टू माय चैनल हियर आई एम हेल्पिंग आउट टू मेक वेबसाइट डिजाइन एंड डेवलपमेंट स्किल्स इफ यू आर न्यू हियर मेक श्योर यू क्लिक द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट व्हेन एवर आई एम अपलोडिंग द न्यू वीडियोस यू विल गेट नोटिफाइड एवरी टाइम इन एडिशन विद दिस वीडियो आई एम ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडिंग द सोर्स कोड दैट आई एम यूजिंग सो दैट यू कैन यूज फॉर योर ओन प्रोजेक्ट सो गाइज टूडे इज टॉपिक इज कॉल्ड vector icons or any kind of icons to html icons why we are using the svg icons or png icons for our html project sometimes we are using the icons for the website but now the trend is changed before we are using the png icons or any kind of svg icons for that the website load is more than the now because the html website whenever you are going to make is supposed to make it lighter and because the first come first serve if you are making your website is very loading or is like a very time taking for to make the home page come to your desktop is not good so that we are trying to reduce the website weight and make it very lighter so that we are using the svg icons to html icons and for that also you can change your brand color or any kind of html animation or any kind of interactive you can make it for svg icons to html icons there is lots of online tutorials were there and lots of online conversion files was there or you can convert by your system but i am normally using the external plugin is called icon moon with icon moon i am converting my files to html files so today i am going to show you what is the procedure and how you are going to change it to get my html code you have to go some simple steps for that you have to open my website called sachiscape then you have to go to the articles page articles page there i have given one thumbnail called icon moon the svg converter files from there you have to go to the details page when you go to the details page i have given the screenshot with description from there you can download the file when you download the file you can see everything whatever file i am implemented because i am going to show you what is the procedure and how it works and how it looks in html so that you have to download the files and paste it in your wamp or jamp folder when you paste it and open in your file called localhost any kind of folder is called i have given svg underscore converter you can open your file name then you can see your file so guys when you download your files it will look like this here you can see some five icons file was there here you can see the css folder then you can see the fonts folder here you can see the image folder then you can see the js folder and this is the reference of spg files for the reference svg files why i have given because here i am going to show you what is the procedure and how it works i have already made the svg file to html file file conversion and here i am giving you the procedure how i have made with using the third party plugins okay normally for the html we are downloading some svg files from png files from one website called flaticon.com here you can see here i have already uh, type a keyword called contact here when you click the contact it will open the svg files or png files whatever files you can download you can download it from here here you can see the psd file was there css file eps file png format and svg files whatever file you have to download you can download and the same files i have downloaded here the reference underscore svg underscore file here i have already downloaded the files i have shown you the procedure and here you can see the procedure then you have to open the website called iconmoon.io from this website i am converting the svg files to html conversion here you have to click the icon moon app when you click the icon moon app it will show you some free conversion files here you can see the free conversion files this is very nice and they have already given you some free conversion html files here or if you want to download or if you want to create your own svg files to html file you can do it so for that you have to click the input icons 
when you click the input icons you can see i have already downloaded the file the same svg file suppose i am clicking the checklist and earth dot svg files when i am going to click it will select you have to select by this tools this is select and if you want to delete select and if you are going to click here it will delete or if you want to download more icons you can download you can use see then you have to select this select button then select this one and select this one when you select this two it will redirect you the html file okay so then you have to click the general font when you click the general font it will redirect you the another page with this one and here you can see the html code also there this is the html css code this is the html entity code and this is character and this is the code where you are going to paste it in your html file okay then you have to download this file by clicking this download button when you download the file it will download in your download folder when you download your file it will look like this i will show you how it looks click this one icon moon this will be open with a zip file copy this one and paste in your desktop okay when you paste in your desktop you have to extract this file right click extract here here you can see the demo files with javascript and css no needed and uh, here you can see the html file the fonts folder this is needed you have to paste in your fonts folder you see here there is a fonts folder this is the one here in my previous video i have already shown you how to use the font of some files in there itself you have to paste the icon moon i have already pasted the icon moon files you can see here the same icon moon file this one you have to paste in your fonts folder when you are going to paste the fonts folder then you have to come to the css in the css you can see here this is custom underscore icon moon dot css i am going to open in my notepad also this is also already written in your file you can see here there is a css file in the demo files you can see this is a css file the same file you have to paste in your demo folder like in your css folder okay wherever you are make your css file they are already mentioned everything you have to paste it there here you can see the custom icon moon.css here is written everything okay so you have to give this file like this and this one is written normally fonts icon moon.eot okay because this is inside the fonts folder you can see here this is inside the fonts folder so you have to return as per your html folder where it is my folder is inside the fonts folder okay my css is this custom icon moon is in a css folder so i have to write dot dot slash fonts folder icon moon dot eot if it the css and the fonts folder in a same form fold same folder so no need to write dot dot slash because it's in a font folder so you have to come back you have to give the path so it will be needed the dot dot slash and if it is a single folder you have to give the dot slash so you have to write like this and here in the down you can see everything is defined at font this content is this one and uh, school content is this one and the solution content is this one this is already written okay guys then you have to open the notepad okay here you have to click the notepad here the fonts is there and uh, when you see my local host file this one the font the same file is written here then you have to go to the html html i have written you can see here this is ul li for this li block you see this border this is li 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 i have given like this so no need because this 
to show for the presentation i have given like this so for your use you can only pick up this one you can see here the span class icon phone book span okay so this is the code and uh, you can see here this is already when you convert your file when you click this get code you will see the same code is written okay so no need to hurry or uh, no need to it's like a get confused how to copy how to paste no need you when you download your files everything is written or else this system you have to open and you can copy wherever whatever you want to copy and whatever you want to paste you can see here i have given for this one icon in a orange color if i want to give the black color simple i have to go to css you can see here the list icon list under listed underscore icon i have defined the css this is the class inside there is a li inside li this is span and this all are span you can see the highlighted this all are. so what i have defined here you can see ul class listed icon li span font size is 30 and color is orange so if i'm going to give this one is black color just normally give the black color code refresh it you can see everything is changed okay if i want to give the specific one place is black so what i am going to write copy this one and rest of is orange if you want so copy this one paste it here is written suppose if i want to give this icon hyphen earth okay copy this one this class and go here because this is your custom css so no need to edit anything in custom underscore icon moon dot css because this is only for the font style so wherever you are going to write anything for your own convenient html you have to write in your custom css so what is the written you have to write ul and ul class listed icon li span then you have to give the class dot this class icon earth so here i'm going for to earth color black the rest of is orange so you can see this earth is black color and the rest of is orange color so you can define anything so like if you want to give any other color also you can give other color also copy paste it earth earth you want to give like icon hyphen school so black color you can give the icon hyphen school black color is written okay for the school also you can give the black color you see the school color also black color so this is the way how to implement the SVG or any kind of PNG image to HTML icons. You can convert by this process with using the third party called Icon Moon and you can download the SVG any kind. You can uh, other also you can use but I am using this flat icon and Icon Moon for SVG to HTML icon converter. Alright guys there is going to end up with this video. If you are really enjoy it, my tutorial please like subscribe and press the bell icon so that whenever I am uploading the new videos you will get notified every time. Also you can follow me with my social media accounts. Thank you. Bye bye. Stay safe.